within our organization, there are really three pillars that we try holistically to manage the business by. One is to be a sustainable business. Two is technology excellence in terms of pushing the envelope with innovation. And three is really the social impact, really um, taking a stand for um, against injustice and oppression and helping groups that cannot help themselves. So that's really our pillar three. And I think that this space is a representation holistically of all three, but primarily pillar three and pillar two in that about half the space is a flexible meeting venue and we're able to open it to the community around us, which would include technology user groups as well as not-for-profits. Four nights out of five in the week it, it is used and this month we even have two events on weekends. Um, last weekend on Friday and Saturday, the uh, New York public school system sponsored uh, a meetup between teachers and developers to push innovation in the classrooms. So that was really a two-day event last week. Um, this week, when I look at the schedule, we've had uh, a group of uh, women entrepreneurs um, that are investing in the social sector, uh, Pipeline Foundation, that were here two nights ago. Last night we had some internal user groups as well as an agile community meetup. Um, this evening we have uh, an internal group also, but there's actually um, a, a contest that we are, uh, that we put together in conjunction with the Blue Ridge Foundation and Parsons School of Design that kicked off last week in our main venue, the follow-up sessions over at Parsons this evening. Yes, we do business with very large corporations. We have to in order to pay the bills. But aspirationally, one third of our portfolio is targeted to be social impact work. And while not every thought worker is assigned to that type of a project, working with UNICEF or working with partners in health 100% of the time, they take pride in knowing that they belong to an organization that's making that investment. And throughout the course of their tenure with us, they will have one, two, three assignments. We do do cultural fit and interviews. And that's really done um, both from the perspective of the candidate as well as ThoughtWorks because the candidate has to be comfortable working within the ThoughtWorks environment as well as other thought workers. So we uh, view that as a two-way street in terms of making sure that the culture is appropriate for all thought workers. Um, we, we, are, we do look for um, individuals that are aligned that want to contribute to the world, but that doesn't necessarily mean that 100% of the young people of today are 100% activated when they come on board, but they have to have an open mind. They have to want to give back in some way, shape, or form to society, even though they might not have tangible evidence of doing that in the past. We probably need to uh, take in about 1,000 resumes to make one higher. Um, so I, I do think that we are, um, as has been in the press recently, pretty selective in terms of our hiring process. But at the end of the day, we're a global organization. We have 3,000 employees worldwide, and we also promote rotations between those offices in order to ensure that there's consistency of culture. So if you were to speak to any one of our thought workers, between 25 to 30 percent of them have worked in a country outside of their own during the course of their tenure. In, in terms of Brazil itself and many of our locations. Um, over the past year, we opened up an office in Ecuador as well as two offices in Africa. Um, our strategy concerning the global south is really to enable those countries to be self-sustained so that they can sell domestically, they can service work domestically and build that capability. We, we avoid at all costs brain drain in terms of taking the talent out of those countries. Now, it, especially to build capability, the offshore, the nearshore development center does, it, it is applicable. It's a great way in terms of building capability, but it does need to be managed in terms of the percentage of the business that's really allocated towards work for other countries and the percentage of the business that is allowed to be sold domestically. P part of the uh, reason for Ecuador and for looking for other aligned South American countries for hiring is partially an economic triage. I mean, it is expensive in Brazil, but that's also, um, 
the, there, there's a premium, I think, that we can charge for nearshore development, particularly when the culture of those thought workers, the culture is so rich. Um, the thought workers have such great communication skills and interactive skills, and the time zone is perfectly aligned. Um, if you walk through the thought works offices, you'll see flat screen TVs next to teams. And as far as our customers are concerned, they can work with our Brazilian thought workers, you know, as a virtual team that they can see them, that they can work with them during the course of their normal workday. So there is a premium that's willing to be paid back in the back in North America. But then again, we're also trying to tap into that exploding economy in Brazil and selling work locally. What I also think about interesting about ThoughtWorks is you do a lot of work with global philanthropic organizations, NGOs, Correct. this sort of thing, nonprofits. Mm -hmm. So is there a connection between those kinds of organizations, their own mission in their organizations, and working with ThoughtWorks in some of these south, southern countries you're talking about, Africa? I, or I think southern. there is. Um, probably two two terrific examples would be uh, the relationship with UNICEF and the work that we're doing in Africa which is really around family reunification in war tour countries and it, it's a project R rapid FTR is, is the name of the initiative there that we have quite a few thought workers working on so I think that that would be a good example another one would be um, partners in health which is really a, a group of uh, a partnership of physicians uh, we've done work with them in Haiti around uh, the Mirabale hospital and medical record systems for that hospital as well as uh, work with within uh, both both Africa and India around uh, open MRS. Mm -hmm.